this is the third part in my series on adding video to your Adobe Captivate project. Specifically, this time we're going to be talking about slide video that comes from YouTube. So I have a slide set up for this. If I wish to add uh, YouTube slide video, I go to the media icon and select video. And we, of course, have slide video already selected from before, but we're going to change this to YouTube video. And really all that's required here is a URL from a YouTube video. Now, I uploaded that very same video I used in the previous uh, videos uh, to YouTube, and I've copied the URL, and I'm just going to paste it in right here. Optionally, at this point, I could input an alternative uh, start time and end time if I only wish to use a portion of the video that I've uploaded to YouTube. And unlike uh, other video formats where I might open uh, web-based video, this is going to be in sync with my project. So again, watch the timeline down below. You'll see I've got my default three seconds here, but when I add my YouTube video, it's going to load the video and extend my timeline by the duration of this particular video. Now, let me resize and reposition the video so it fits nicely on the screen. We'll talk about a couple of things here. Uh, like regular slide video, this feature is compatible with Adobe Captivate 2019's interactive video. So I can mark bookmarks uh, if I wish to navigate back to those points in the video. Uh, and I can also uh, create overlay slides, which can either be additional content or knowledge checks that users can interact with. So again, the, the slide uh, and the video are in sync with one another. Uh, and of course, you can then use the regular Adobe Captivate play bar controls that will be in the bottom of your e-learning window. Unfortunately, uh, you won't be able to use the inbuilt Captivate closed captioning feature, uh, but you can, of course, rely on the YouTube closed captions. So uh, if the video uh, has closed captions included, users will be able to see that as well. The advantage of using this particular version of slide video, YouTube slide video, is that uh, unlike slide video or event video, this does not increase the size of your project. The video, of course, resides on YouTube.com. The downside or the disadvantage might be that your users will need a, a solid internet connection to the public internet. So if they're behind a firewall uh, and can't access a, a site like YouTube, that's going to prevent this from functioning as you'd expect. Let's take a look at what this looks like uh, in preview here. We'll preview HTML5 in browser. So you can see here how my e-learning course is con uh, continuing to proceed along with the scrub bar here. If I interact with the scrub bar, I'm actually interacting with the video as well. I, of course, can play the video, pause the video, and I can even restart the video from the beginning. One of the downsides of uh, slide video from YouTube is that you're going to see the elements from YouTube. So for example, uh, you're gonna see the user and the uh, video name. You're gonna see watch later, share, this more videos option, which can be distracting to your end users. So if that's a concern for you, then this might not be a great choice for you. Uh, but I do like the fact that it allows you to keep your project size nice and compact, but still have the, the full quality video that you've created. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com. Follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.